Okay. Hi, today Creative Artist Magazine has a special guest, one of my best best friends. I love this woman. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the uh, the rest of everybody here. My name is Gail Johnson, and this is from the poetry shop of Gail Johnson. Awesome. So we're going to listen to Gail read some of her beautiful poetry, and if I'm so honored, she'll allow me to read one too. <laughs> Absolutely. This first one I'm going to read is called 24 Hours. 24 hours is a space of time, time to greet, time to say hi. Hold me close, look into my eyes. We waited so long for this surprise. Smiling faces, let's kiss again without being told when. Pause for a glance. Is this really so? Hold me some more, don't let go. I'm where I'm supposed to be, surrounded in bliss. I knew this would be what I wanted, not to miss. Clutch me, squeeze me, don't let go. Who is this one I'm trying to know? The spirit, the scent seems oh so familiar. Just close your eyes and try to remember. The last time you felt so close, so warm, so wanted, so needed, so crazy in love. Lay down in position, get nearer to my heart. What is this we're doing? What is this we're about to start? Don't think about right now. Let it flow out, okay? Our 24 hours are ticking away. Absorb it all, my smile, my arms, my breasts, my skin, touching your chest, your broad shoulders, your hands, your weight, pressing down into my heavenly, womanly face. Take off the top, reveal your skin. Touch mine softly as you begin to know, explore, get to know more, reveal more, share more, give more, willingly, tenderly, lovingly, passionately, freely, constantly, with every breath and more. Take your time, no hurry, no rush. You have 24 hours to feel the lust, feel the heat, feel the faster beat. Kiss me, sweet, pin my arms, explore some more. Don't stop, do it some more. A little pain is worth to endure. The daylight shine has dimmed its light. 24 hours slipping by. Let's dine a bit. Taste the delight. Closer still, light chatter, don't matter. Playful smiles, just dining together. Tastes okay, not as good as the palate of you, my soul food. Time to go walk hand in hand, peek at the stars to see what they stand, to see where they stand. What must they think of this two together, walking so close in the self-made weather? Shall we relax for a while in our 24 hours? Who's counting them now? But we have time right now to watch a movie, sing in the shower, feel our connected power. Picked up what's left over hours, <laughs> all in 24 hours. We're getting it all in. Let's begin again. Smile at me again. Kiss me again. Hold me again. I'm happy again because you're happy too that I'm here with you, sharing myself with you, being inside of you. You're here for 24 hours. All to myself, nobody else. The planes and the trains, the heat from you and me. Press, my dear. Think no more. Let the music gently pull you to slumber. Your arm to use as my cover. Toss and turn. This is the new night. Our 24 hours, almost out of sight. Who welcome we wake together and greet her, her folk through the clouds and call us up early. Can't wait the day away for 24 hours or nothing away. So glad you're here. Hello again. I welcome you to my world after I open my eyes and I see your coffee brown skin contrast with mine, vanilla caramel, toasted butter, intertwined and locked side by side together, but not forever. Oh, 24 hours, I know you are there, fading, dissipating, floating by. Wait, can we grab a bite to eat, talk politics, social issues, religion and dreams? Can we plan, think out loud, and make a five-year pledge? Can we travel, make music, and sneak away for a moment of love in the motherland? Oh, 24 hours, we gotta get it all in because this is not where we begin, but the point where we begin to communicate spirit to spirit, heart to heart. 
eye to eye, soul to soul. Let me comfort your shoulder before you go. Kiss me one more time before you go. Look deep in my eyes before you press your shirt, before you go. Hold me tight before you think 24 hours, not a minute more, not a second less. This is what it is, time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. That was absolutely beautiful. I know it was I just the right amount of tantalizing. It was everything. <laughs> it was a full encompassing poet. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. And that's how we started this party off, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poetry reading with Gail Johnson. And all these poems are written by Gail Johnson. And yeah. um, we have the privilege of having her read them to us. How delightful is that? Absolutely delicious. <laughs> uh, and in the background, we have uh, Gail's uh, co-founder of Jazz in Pink. Everybody knows it's my favorite all-female jazz band. And um, J Gail and I may go over some of the music that they have. And I'll tell you right now, what I get most out of it is when I want peace of mind. If you're driving, and um, it, it'll erase all the, the the traffic that's surrounding you. You'll be cocooned in this beautiful space. Just put in your CD, I promise you. I do it all the time, even at home for work. Okay, so uh, pick one that you'd like for me to read, because I printed them all out here. And I tried <laughs> to save them for when we were doing the meeting. How about uh, keep looking? Okay, here we go. Okay. Keep Looking by Gail Johnson. I'm going to keep looking for the one that needs to know what I'm thinking today, why I'm feeling this way. How pretty I am, they say. Where's my cologne? Dabbed hey, hey. Listen to what I say, I have to say, the lessons I have to pay. The worries on my mind and when I lay, where's my sun tray? Tell me everything's going to be okay without delay. Help me pray. Ignore what they say. They may say, hold me night and day. Hurt when I hurt, love endlessly. Share my tears. Know my fears. Doesn't have to be. Pushed represents like the king of Cush, his heart leads him to where I am. His queen, his dreams, his bloodstream sees my smile, light up of his world, world because I'm his girl. And he's got to have, got to have what I've got. Nowhere else to turn. Love burn, surely yearns for all of me, only me because that's where he wants to be. So I'm gonna keep looking for the one that needs me. Oh my gosh, that took me on a journey. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Some of these I haven't read in, uh, in years. And so going back, it's like, oh, wow, it just kind of just took me on a journey, you know, back yeah. there, you know. Sometimes those journeys are good. Mm -hmm. Now you have this beautiful, sultry, smooth voice, queen of smooth jazz, Gail Johnson. <laughs> yeah. I would well, like to hear you read more of your poetry. Can you do that for me? Absolutely. How about this one? This is called Words. Oh, man of words, a flight like birds, the fresh aroma of herbs, never corny like nerds nor curt or absurd, just plain old words, always first, not seconds or thirds. Thank you for your kind words, your kind spirit, and your kind heart. The versatility of Gail Johnson. I know how versatile you are, and right. I just want everybody else to see where this amazing talent comes from. It's reaching from so many different places that it's not containable. <laughs> yeah, that's our that. goal is to become one with the instrument. That that really is the goal always. Yeah, like you are with your um, with your journalism is just an outward expression of everything that you are. So now that you've invited 
this one, and that one, this artist, and that artist, and this musical. You know, all these things are, are pieces of, of who you are that you want to see, you know, and, and you support everybody and their full expression of it. So, and, and that way you can, you know, express all these creative ideas. And we, uh, I guess that's why it's called creative artists. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and then I put this on the backdrop. It's a video. One of the features that Zoom offers is to have a virtual background. Sometimes you can lose your head, you know, see my hand is coming. And yeah. <laughs> um, but I thought it would be interesting for everyone to be able to see what's the happening back there with the rest yeah. of the girls in the band and, yeah. um, and your pink room uh, where they can go. And I'm going to go ahead and share the screen and have you pick out maybe three, uh, two, two tracks or something that they can hear. So they, I can be verified because I said, this is music that I listen to and it doesn't matter how much traffic, if there's a delay, sheriff's up there doing round robin, you know, I huh? have your, your music plan and I feel good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. You did a beautiful job uh, with that whole expose, it's, it's wonderful. Yeah, you've included so much of our music from the first collection CD from um, from Robin Bramlett's This Is My Life CD um, from Karen Briggs. Uh, I'm not sure if you did some of her Hidden Beach uh, work. Um, of course, from my CD, New Beginnings. And so, uh, yeah, oh, that's good. Uh, what you in the mood for? Something up tempo, down tempo? Okay, so this is your pink room that Cognition Designs, my other company. Um, they made this, um, and so Music Room um, is here. For instance, um, that one that it doesn't matter what kind of traffic you're in, what kind of zone is happening on the outside, plug this in, turn it up, and you'll be good to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, There's so I many. It is so many. You know, I always like sisterness. Pacific breeze. We can't okay, go wrong. Pacific breeze it is. Here we go. everybody uh, this is in their gallery uh, their music room in the pink room where you can sample music from um, the all the ladies as a band or in they have um, independent projects that they've worked on uh, you have uh, Karen Briggs uh, loving you the uh, song made famous by Minnie Riperton she mm -hmm. does a beautiful version of that
I'm going to go ahead and, and, and let let everybody know about your found you you have a nonprofit as well, Jazz in Pink. Um, yes, we you guys. Um, um, tell me a little bit about that. Well, we have a philanthropic arm. We've been together, you know, um, as you know, at, at, you were at our celebration for 10 years. That's right. Uh, from 2008 to 2018, we celebrated 10 years. And so it's like, okay, we've we've played almost every festival uh, in the country and we've traveled around the world. We still want to do some more of that ambassadorship, but we also wanted to have a... Um, a way to give back to young girls and women that want to make music choice. And uh, just to, to have it as a creative outlet, because I have women all the time coming, oh, I play in church on the weekends. I sure would love to play with a band. How do you get a band started? Or I song, um, I'm a songwriter, and I sure would love to hear my song on the radio. How do I get something published? And uh, Or I really would love to play the drums. You know, I, I, I tried playing the guitar, but it didn't work out. So these kinds of things, uh, you know, are creative outlets for women to, um, to have some self-expression. And, you know, it gives you, it builds your self-esteem. And it but can... You guys, my yeah. daughter was there at the 10 year um, celebration. I, I brought her with me because she's um, also a musician and she writes uh, music. And she um, got a lot of information from, from um, the combined knowledge of so many people that is there, the, the, the experience, the knowledge you guys are sharing with um, new and Absolutely. artists that, I mean, questions, thought provoking questions that, Average people don't know things about, you know, copyright. Can I get started? What is this about? How, what do I do? You know, all these things just to help them, guide them to make decisions if that's what they want to do and follow their dreams if it is. Yes, and and you don't do... You don't have to be a professional musician if you don't want to, but it is a way to get away from all the stress of everyday life, you know? You may uh, just find some small expression like me. I'm doing painting now. And I find that when I'm painting, I don't know if it's because I don't, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just so focused on trying to get it right or trying to get this, just that one thing. And I'm going to tell you, just as a sidebar, when you're painting and you got to do, a, a, you're doing a portrait and you're going to do teeth, oh yes. my God, that's the hardest in the world to do. <laughs> I thought it was ears. Now, we're sure every, we should know exactly where teeth are, but anyway, yes. that was the hardest. Oh <laughs> my God. It is a way to not think about anything else. When I'm painting, I'm not thinking about a care in the world. And then I get dropped back off, like Stevie Wonder said, you know, back down to this cold, cold world. But it is a way to, uh, to find, um, you know, just get some escapism and, and find some other joys that you may not even know that you have until you try it. And so we want to enrich and empower girls to, to give it a try. Right. And, and they can just come here and donate. Is that how it works? Yes. Um, <laughs> we have a, because you have the toy drive started, and things like that. We started a project called the uh, Peak Cushion. And that was uh, just to give a little cushion, give a little... Uh, uh, money to some of the women musicians that are struggling during this pandemic. And so it's like, well, what can we do? You know, we're all seeking, you know, help like everyone else. So we figured that if we could ask for help um, using our platform, we could help others. So I've had women from all across the country say, I could use a little help. So we're still working on that. And you know, we hope that we can, you know, help some some women al- along the way. So if any of you uh, have any extra, any little bit will help, you know. We're looking to help women in, in music because, you know, a lot of women are single or, or uh, I don't know. Women don't like to ask for too much, you know. I know. <laughs> they would just I suffer know. in silence. <laughs> I, I <laughs> used to be one of them. Their face <laughs> away. You know, or their saxophone, you know, and it's like, you know, why did you say you needed a little help? So, and we always need a few extra dollars for lipstick and stockings <laughs> and eyelashes, you know. So 
uh, all those kinds of things to get ready for our, our performances. But just overall, you know, I just helps them with think, confidence me. to have yeah. those things. Helps with their confidence because honestly, yeah. being a woman is a little bit different. Not everybody is the same, and some women, when they look good, they feel good, and not, and yeah. you wake up different when you. I know smell you feel good. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. So anybody out there who have a few extra bucks, please, or some big bucks, head over to uh, jazzandpink.org. They can, and they can send uh, to PayPal, uh, jazzandpink2018 at okay. Gmail. Okay. Just spell it all out, jazzandpink2018, 2018 at uh, Gmail. So you can PayPal. And um, we just... Um, we will use it like that and um, send you a special note and uh, maybe a CD or something that you would like, you know. We may have a few T-shirts around here that, I, that we could share, you know. Um. So you said uh, you started painting and you're in your studio right now, right? Because I see the... Yes, yes, yeah. I'm in my studio, and so I've been working. Uh, I have a uh, young saxophonist up in the Bay Area. Her name is Susan Copperman, and I called her, and my nickname for it is Susie. So S U E dash C E E, Susie. <laughs> so I don't know how to look her up. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I've been working on some material for her. And um, Josie, uh, Josie Ayello, our lead vocalist, uh, hey, she wanted to do. Uh, an arrangement of Rainbow Connection. So we're working on that. And um, in fact, Karen was just over here a couple of days ago. We have a new arrangement of, um, of Natural Woman that is just absolutely outstanding. So oh, wow. we had to do some mixing with that. And so we'll, we'll be posting a video on that soon. Mm -hmm. So you also yeah. mentioned that you are painting. Do you have yes, anything I that you care to share right handy? Yeah, let, let me see if I can I can go back here in my little uh, let's see share content. Okay, it should go. We're gonna see some of Gail Johnson's. <laughs> yeah, I just finished this. It took me about about eighteen months because I don't have a lot of time. I, I know I'm on it at this time right here. <laughs> so get, get get it all in. Yeah, trying to you know develop all the techniques and stuff. So let's try that. Let's see. This is beautiful. Well, the blue down there, that is supposed to be my little brook, my little the water, because somehow I ended up with some kind of path. And I said, wow, that looks like a little waterway. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, over to the left there is, uh, you see the branches, just kind of the fingers reaching out to the water. Yes, I do. Uh, you, this is beautiful. And the I purple is like moss or something I don't know you know from all the leaves that were falling that's what all the other the green and orange leaves they were all falling you know mixing with the grass and everything but that purple just kind of came in and I I don't know I just felt like it felt kind of mossy you know I like it I like it a lot I like when people see something and they're painting it and then they put mm -hmm. A whole different little spin on it. To it's like when people are singing a song, like own it. You know, don't be make it yours. Put yeah. something little something in there. I do that with cooking. This is yeah. what that purple did. It was like you know what? I'm a creative artist, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I yep. like it. It's the first thing. It's one of the first things. Though the trees was the first thing I noticed, but immediately after that, my eyes was grabbed by that purple. So. Kudos on that. One. Yeah. It was, yeah. it this is beautiful. Uh -huh. <laughs> Absolutely. I appreciate you including me in all your projects. Yeah, you want to do this. I got an idea about this. Absolutely. I want to run something by. <laughs> so that's yeah. Well, you're a wealth of information. So uh yeah. Yeah. 
a very, very astute um, woman and, um, the, and musician and artist. Yeah, and I like artist. to say that <laughs> most artists have layers. Um, they have layers because when I found out Lady Mac also sculpts and paints too, I'm like, okay. <laughs> she blew yeah, my she mind. Did. Yeah, for a long time. I remember when I helped her move, she used to live out here in Eagle Rock, California. And all of her paintings and all of her paints and all her stuff. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, I just, I just, I'm always surprised when I talk to artists. I'm like, okay, I know this is that thing that you're known for, but you can't hide from me. I've interviewed too many artists to, to think that uh -huh. this is it. So go ahead and share with me that other thing that people won't know that you also do, but it's your thing, you know, or your desire to do it. It's, I've never seen an artist that is just doing one thing. Like I'm just, right. I'm just a musician. <laughs> they can do something else that people want. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> it's always that hidden talent. <laughs> right. That they right. do well. <laughs> right. I have a, another poem if you'd like me to read it. Yes, please. Do I have it here? Could you read from the one? I we think have? so. You have a poem called Someone Like You. Okay, Someone Like You from the Poetry Desk of Gail Johnson. I want to be with somebody like you, smart and strong, full of dreams, ambitious, on the path of success, who takes time to caress his ideas so patiently and pays attention to details so intently. Oh, what a great soul you carry from the lineage of kings. My royalty that wants to be so importantly, yet kindly, gentle, soft-spoken, creator of things to be, but has vision to see, possibility, potentiality, personality, rhythm and soul, with only one goal, to be all you can be, upright, righteous man, tall and bold, with a mission to hold, stories to be told, more riches than gold, only one mold of the man I know, someone like you. Oh, Gail, <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> this is so, you know, we're getting exclusive stuff here. These are the poetry straight from Gail Johnson, and we will have them in this summer issue. There are going to be several different articles in the magazine, and oh. poetry is one of those things that I want to oh, yeah. do it, you know, because we have not done that yet, as well as short stories. Um, that's also a creative art form, you know, and the yeah. spoken word is powerful, and I have yeah. chills from the ones you just read. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about doing spoken word. Um, you know, I, uh, I always wrote poetry as a, as a kid. I don't know where all those poems are, but um, perhaps I should kind of dig back into that little area. And, you know, so now I, I've gathered up about 10 of them, I think. And so that's enough to make a PDF and add a few more, you know, might, might touch somebody. <laughs> Touching me right now. And yeah. I know that as the uh, magazine, when it comes out this summer in um, uh, July, in July, yes. July yeah. 23rd, when it comes yeah. out, I know that as it travels across the, the country here, that it, when they get to these pages with your delightful poet poems on them, that they will touch lives. They're touching me today, right now. Yes, so, touching me. Everyone has to agree. You, you're, there, it's not, there's no making this up. So um, we're going to, you got any closing things you want to say to everybody here about Jazz in Pink or about Gail Johnson? <laughs> well, Jazz in Pink, I just did a photo shoot, so I'm excited. Okay. So I got some new pictures to come out and, and share with everyone. Got a new single coming out, Jazz in Pink featuring Gail Johnson. We have a new, um, we'll have a virtual video um, of Natural Woman that'll be coming out. I'm just waiting for the editor to get done with that. Okay. And um, I just want everybody to be safe and, um, and just be careful and um, know that they're loved. And us as entertainers, you know, we, we come 
to do the show to get that love from you guys. And now that we can't come to you and you can't come to us, uh, so this is the best we can do. And this Zoom thing is just a, a wonderful thing, isn't it? <laughs> it is. So, it's amazing. I'm sitting here looking at your studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can at least try to reach out to each other. So just look out for us. If you need some love, just reach out there and get it. And because um, everyone is, is kind of in the same boat. We're all just separated. And we're just hoping that everybody's hanging on and, um, you know, just uh, doing the best they can. So we're going to be writing some new music and helping you to feel better and love better and be better. Yeah, It always works for me, hearing you guys' this new music. And I love all the girls in pink. I do. Yeah. I love them all. All of them. It's, it's yeah. All of them. Did all we right. name everybody? Did yeah. we name everybody in there? I think uh, there's D-Love. Two little goddess, Karen Briggs. We got yes. our music director, Robin Bramlett. Our, our dynamite drummer, D Simone, D. Simone our guitarist, yes. D Love. Yes. We have uh, Tamoka. We call it Tamika. <laughs> <laughs> I have you on film saying that, by the way. I keep editing it out when I use the footage. <laughs> <laughs> she, plays, she is so talented. She plays saxophones, all the saxophones. And she plays flute, and she plays keyboards, and she sings, and she models. So, you know, all of our girls are just so talented. Yakira, she's a dynamite lead singer. She, uh, yeah, she plays percussion, timbales, and uh, and kungas and all that good stuff. Plus, uh, she's like a model herself, you know. She is. She's <laughs> absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. I, yes, I have she, pictures she, of her. The boot queen, I'm telling you. She she has some sharp boots, and she puts that stuff on her afro wig. <laughs> Put that afro so on. <laughs> she's so sharp, I'm telling you. Uh, and then I have my young girls. I have Tamina and, and Anka. And so uh, they have a group called Blended by God. Oh, oh. Talking late on the phone Every night you've been calling Private moments alone Could your heart still be falling? And I know she's a friend But I can't shake the feeling That I could be losing your heart I think I'm jealous of your girlfriend Although She's just a girl that is your friend I think I'm jealous of your girlfriend She shares a special part of you Oh Damn the babies right there <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's the babies right there. You guys heard it here. They harmonize so well. Oh yeah. Everyone loves that. They're harmonizing. It's just beautiful. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beautiful harmony. And so we're just so thankful that we have you to bring us all together and express all of your own creative ideas and we uh, all come together as a family, and, and that's really what it's about, you know, yeah. bringing, because you, you bring together the spoken word, the written word, the music, the video, and the, the pictures. You know, you have all these entities that you have to tell a story with, and so the magazine is, uh, is the storyteller. So, uh, the real place where that comes from, I wish I could honestly take credit for it. And this is going to sound corny, but it's so genuine um, mm. and pure that it comes from my heart. Mm. It really sincerely does. That's why I'm just like, please, everyone, just step out of my way. Please don't hate. Don't please. Because this, this is not even me. This is like uh, a universal love thing that came out of me. Yes. And, um, and, and, and it's something good for anybody that I can make it good for. Yes, yes. And so it would be really bad, you know, for anybody to think of it any other way because it's if somebody's getting good out of it, if somebody's getting love out of it, I want the world to see these beautiful things and to just share the beauty that there is. Like I said, when I listen to you guys' music, it zens me. 
<laughs> People should know. They're like, why is she always doing jazz in pink? Because you don't know how many times I was like pulling my hair out and I could listen to your music and focus and create and finish the magazine, finish a booklet, finish some of the work that I'm doing um, because I'm listening to some good vibe and music. You see what yeah. I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> that vibration is for real, isn't it? Yeah. It's very real. It'll yeah. grab you sometimes. <laughs> you guys have a few tracks that will just grab you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Whole of Gail's poetry, you're going to have to wait for the summer edition of Creative Artist Magazine. And yeah. we'll have her, um, more of her beautiful poems in there, um, along with some amazing artists this summer. July 23rd is the, ex uh, the date of release, and then the print should be just a few days after that. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're... Um, we still actually have a few more days for those who want to sign up. Yeah. Great. Well, I'm just going to thank everybody and help art stay alive by liking, sharing, subscribing to our channels. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and this video will be on YouTube. So um, we want to thank Gail Johnson for sharing her poems and, uh, and her beautiful uh, paintings with us today. And Gail, you have any uh, last words here to say with uh, the viewing audience? I just want to say that I love you guys and to take care of each other, take care of yourself. And if you want to help uh, Jazz and Pink and Women in Jazz and help support us through this COVID pandemic, you can PayPal us at jazzandpink2018 at gmail.com. Awesome. And thank you, creative artists. Thank you. <laughs> We're family. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye for now.